What is up, everybody? JT Dangerously here once again. I am back to do my Week 3 NFL predictions. Now, Week 2 just ended tonight on Monday Night Football with the Las Vegas Raiders getting their first victory in their new stadium over the New Orleans Saints. So, Week 2 is in the books, and we're now into Week 3 of the NFL season. So, I am extremely excited to do my Week 3 predictions for you guys, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, my Week 2 record was fantastic. We went 14-2, and two, so we're coming in hot, and I'm looking to keep it that way. So, hopefully this video, we will continue the winning ways. We're on a two-week winning streak. Hopefully this video, we make it three weeks. Hopefully. And hope you guys will be able to watch this video and all the big videos I'll be putting up on the channel in the month of September. And as always, show your support as always, guys, by watching these videos, super kicking those like buttons, hitting that notification bell, and commenting your picks, your opinions, and representing your NFL teams in the comment sections down below. Now, if this is your first time watching my channel today, guys, as a first-time viewer, and this is your first video, boy, pick the go in if you're a huge fan of the NFL like myself, and you're ready for week three of the NFL season. Welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. I'm JT Dangerously. Welcome to the club, because this club is... Two. Woo, woo, again, thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into my week three NFL predictions. Let's start off on Thursday Night Football with an AFC showdown between the Miami Dolphins heading to Jacksonville to face the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, the Dolphins are coming off their loss to the Buffalo Bills on Sunday, and the Dolphins are looking to get their first victory of the season with a victory on the road on Thursday night. They're excited that the Jacksonville Jaguars coming off their loss to the Tennessee Titans on Sunday, and the Jags are looking to rebound and bounce back at home. So coming from me in this AFC showdown on Thursday Night Football... I am going to go with Gardner Mishu III and the Jacksonville Jaguars to rebound and bounce back at home and defeat the winless Miami Dolphins on Thursday night football in a close one. And now the Sunday slate, which starts at 10 a.m. here on the West Coast, 1 p.m. on the East Coast, starting off with the first NFC showdown between the San Francisco 49ers heading to Gotham to face the New York Giants. Now the 49ers are coming off their victory over the New York Jets on Sunday, but that victory came with a huge loss on defense because Nick Bosa Jr. is done for the year with a torn ACL. Jimmy Garoppolo is hurt with a high ankle sprain, but the 49ers are looking to continue the winning ways and get a big victory on the road. There is idea of the New York Giants coming off their loss to the Chicago Bears on Sunday, but that loss came with a even bigger price because their franchise running back Shaquan Barkley tore his ACL and he is done for the year. I was so happy for Shaquan Barkley last year with what he did and I was confident that he was going to have a monster year but to have his year end this early is very surprising and it's a huge blow to the Giants because they can get whoever they want on running backs. It's never going to live up to Shaquan Barkley for the Giants. And they're really looking to get back on the winning track and get their first victory of the season. So coming from me in this NFC showdown, the Nick Bosa injury is definitely a big one for the Niners defense. But Shaquan Barkley done for the year for the Giants, it hurts them Dr dramatically. So coming from me, I am going to go with Jimmy G Money and the San Francisco 49ers to continue the winning ways and get a big victory on the road and defeat the winless New York Giants. And now the next matchup. It is an AFC showdown between the winless Houston Texans heading to Heinz Field to face the undefeated Pittsburgh Steelers. Now the Texans are coming off their loss to the Baltimore Ravens on Sunday and the Texans are looking to get their first victory on the road. There is idea you have the Pittsburgh Steelers coming off their victory over the Denver Broncos. They're coming in undefeated at 2-0 and they're looking to get a big win at home. So coming from me in this AFC showdown... Deshaun Watson versus Big Ben Roethlisberger. This one's going to be a good one, but coming from me, I am going to go with Big Ben and Juju and the Pittsburgh Steelers to continue the winning ways and remain undefeated and defeat the winless Houston Texans. And now the next matchup. It is the winless Cincinnati Bengals heading to Philly to face the winless Philadelphia Eagles. Now the winless Bengals are coming off their loss on Thursday night football to the Cleveland Browns, but we got to see Joe Burrow definitely look even better in that game. But the Cincinnati Bengals are looking to get their first win of the season and they're looking to do it on the road. There is idea you have the winless Eagles coming off their loss to the Los Angeles Rams on Sunday. And I'm going to say it once again. Carson Wentz is done. They need to start Jalen Hurts. I watched him at Oklahoma. He's a fantastic quarterback. You guys drafted them. Now you, you drafted him. Now put him in the game. Carson Wentz has already proven that he is not the same quarterback that we saw a couple years ago when he won the MVP. He is not nowhere near that level anymore. He is done. So if you're an Eagles fan, I'm telling you, start Jalen Hurts, and then you guys will start winning. But the Eagles are looking to get their first victory of the season at home. So coming from me in this matchup between these two winless teams... 
I'm going to go with an upset. I may get this one wrong, but you know what? I'm going to go for it. I am going to go with Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals to get their first victory of the season and defeat the winless Philadelphia Eagles. And now the next matchup. It is the undefeated Las Vegas Raiders heading to Gillette to face my New England Patriots. Now the Vegas Raiders are coming off their big victory tonight on Monday Night Football in their home debut of the Death Star. They looked good. Derek Carr had a big game. And the Vegas Raiders are looking to continue the winning ways. There you said you have my New England Patriots coming off their loss on Sunday Night Football to my Seattle Seahawks in a classic Sunday Night game between those two two teams. Cam Newton had a very good game even in a loss. He looked good and he's definitely getting better under the under the wing of Bill Belichick and the Patriots are looking to rebound and bounce back at home. So coming from me in this AFC showdown, I am going to go with Cam and my New England Patriots to rebound and bounce back at home and defeat the Las Vegas Raiders. And now the next matchup. It is the Tennessee Titans heading to Minneapolis to face the Minnesota Vikings. Now the Titans are coming off their victory over the Jacksonville Jaguars on Sunday. And the Titans are looking to continue the winning ways. There is already have the Minnesota Vikings coming off their loss to the Indianapolis Colts on Sunday. And the Vikings are in big time trouble because Kirk Cousins had three picks in that game. And the Vikings are looking to get their first victory of the season at home. So coming from me in this matchup, Ryan Tannehill versus Captain Kirk Cousins. I've got to go with Captain. I have to go with Ryan Tannehill, Derrick Henry, and the Tennessee Titans to continue the winning ways and remain undefeated and defeat the winless Minnesota Vikings. And now the next matchup. It is the Washington football team heading to the dog pound to face the Cleveland Browns. Now the Washington football team lost to the Arizona Cardinals on Sunday and the Washington sports team is looking to rebound and bounce back on the road. There is idea of the Cleveland Browns coming off their victory on Thursday night football over the Cincinnati Bengals. Baker Mayfield had a big game. Odell Beckham had a big game. And the Browns are looking to continue the winning ways with a big victory at home. So coming from me in this matchup... This one I'm actually really excited for because it's Dwayne Haskins Jr. versus Baker Mayfield. This one's going to be good, but coming from me, I am going to go with Baker Mayfield, Odell Beckham Jr., and the Cleveland Browns to continue the winning ways and get a big victory at home and defeat the Washington football team in a very close one. And now the next matchup. It is a battle between two undefeated squads. The undefeated Los Angeles Rams heading to Orchard Park to face the undefeated Buffalo Bills. Now the Rams are coming off their big victory over the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday. And the Rams are looking to continue the winning ways and remain undefeated. There is idea of the undefeated Bills coming off their victory over the Miami Dolphins on Sunday. Josh Allen had a monster game. And if you had him, if you had him on fantasy this week and you started him, I wouldn't be surprised you won your fantasy football matchup. And this Bills team is looking to continue the winning ways and remain remain undefeated. So coming from me in this battle of two undefeated teams, who this one's going to be good. I mean, Jared Goff versus Josh Allen. This one's going to be a high scoring affair, but coming from me, I am going to go with Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills to get it done at home and remain undefeated and defeat the Los Angeles Rams in an offensive shootout. And now the next matchup, it is an NFC showdown between the Chicago Bears heading to the Georgia Dome to face the Dirty Birds, the Atlanta Falcons. Now the Bears are coming off their big victory over the New York Giants on Sunday. They're coming in 2-0 and they're looking to continue the winning ways and remain undefeated. There is how you have the Atlanta Falcons coming off blowing a 29-10 lead at halftime to lose to the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday. And this Falcons team just cannot catch a break. I mean, they blew a 28-3 lead to my Patriots in the Super Bowl. And now they blew a 29-10 lead in, uh, in, uh, in, on Sunday over the Cowboys. I mean, how can this team continue to choke like this? And Matt Ryan had four touchdowns, and he still lost. And they lost that game 40-39. to They didn't score any points after putting up 39 points. That's crazy. And it was maybe the wildest and the most shocking choke, art, choke move I've ever seen by the Atlanta Falcons. And the Falcons are desperately looking for their first win at home. So coming from me in this NFC showdown, if you think I'm picking Matt Ryan and the Falcons after they did a second choke job in the, in the NFL, there ain't no way that's happened. I am taking Mitchell Trubinsky and the Bears to continue their winning ways and remain undefeated and defeat the winless Atlanta Falcons. And now the next matchup, it is the Carolina Panthers heading to Los Angeles to face the Los Angeles Chargers. Now the Panthers are coming off their loss to the Tampa Bay Bucks on 
uh, Sunday, but they also lost their star running back, Christian McCaffrey, for four to six weeks, and the Panthers are looking to get back on the winning track and get their first win of the season. They're excited to have the Los Angeles Chargers coming off their heartbreaking loss in overtime to the reigning Super Bowl champs, the Kansas City Chiefs, on Sunday, but we got to see the Chargers' first-round pick out of Oregon, Justin Herbert, play, and I got to say Justin Herbert is the future of the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, if the Chargers organization is smart, they will continue to start Justin Herbert every game uh, for the rest of the season. I know Tyrod Taylor was hurt with a chest injury, but Justin Herbert is the future. And if they want to be a legit team in L.A. other than the Rams, they wanna, they've want they got to start Justin Herbert every game for the rest of the season. And this, and this Chargers team is looking to rebound and bounce back at home. So coming from me in this matchup... I am going to go with Justin Herbert and the Los Angeles Chargers to rebound and bounce back at home and defeat the winless Carolina Panthers. And now the next matchup. It is an AFC showdown between the winless New York Jets heading to Lucas Oil Stadium to face the Indianapolis Colts. Now the winless Jets are coming off the loss of the San Francisco 49ers. What else is new with the Jets, folks? I mean, Le'Veon Bill is on IR. Sam Darnold is just... Not, it's just not doing good in New York, and the Jets are desperately looking for their first win of the season on the road. There is idea of the Indianapolis Colts coming off their big victory over the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday. We got to see Marlon Mack's backup, Jonathan Taylor, straight out of Wisconsin, and I watched them at Wisconsin, folks. Jonathan Taylor is the real deal, and that was a big pickup for the Colts. And Phillip Rivers is looking good, and the Colts are looking to continue the winning ways with a big victory at home. So coming from me in this AFC showdown... I am going to go with Phillip Rivers and Jonathan Taylor and the Indianapolis Colts to continue the winning ways and get a big victory at home and defeat the winless New York Jets. And now the next matchup. It is an NFC showdown between the winless Detroit Lions heading to Glendale to face the undefeated Arizona Cardinals. Now the winless Lions are coming off their loss to the Green Bay Packers on Sunday. What else is new with the Lions and the Packers? It's usually a one-sided affair and the Lions are desperately looking for their first victory on the road. There is idea of the undefeated Cardinals coming off their victory over the Washington football team on Sunday. Kyler Murray looked good. DeAndre Hopkins looked good. And this Cardinals team is really one of those dangerous teams in the NFC West. And they're looking to continue the winning ways with a big victory at home to remain undefeated. So coming from me in this NFC showdown, I am going to go with Kyler Murray, D-Hop, and Fitz, and the undefeated Arizona Cardinals to continue the winning ways and defeat the winless Detroit Lions. And now the next matchup. It is another NFC showdown between the Dallas Cowboys heading to CenturyLink Field to face my Seattle Seahawks. Now the Dallas Cowboys are coming off their greatest comeback in a in that in that franchise's history. I mean, being down 29 to 10, they came all the way back and beat the Atlanta Falcons on Sunday on their home on their home ground. And you talk about a, a game for Dak Prescott, over 400 yards passing. Uh, C.D. Lamb had a big game, Amari Cooper had a big game, Zeke had a big game on the ground, and the Cowboys are looking to continue the winning ways. There is how you have my Seattle Seahawks coming off their big victory on Sunday Night Football at home, defeating my New England Patriots, and you talk about uh, Russell Wilson being on that good good. He was on that good good for the second week in a row. I mean, he did throw one pick, which wasn't his fault, but after that one pick, he threw for five touchdowns, and as they say, let Russ cook. And he got it done. DK Metcalf had a big game. Defense stepped up in that last second play, that last second, um, that last second drive for the Patriots. The defense stepped up. Uh, Tyler Lockett had a big game. But this Seattle team is dangerous. And I'm telling you right now, I would not be surprised. I, I would, I would just say it right now. Bold prediction. I think the Seahawks are making the playoffs this year with this kind of offense they got. This team is looking to continue the winning ways and get a big victory at home. So coming from me in this huge NFC showdown, this one's going to be a good match. This is a good match. Dak versus Russell Wilson. You got Chris Carson and Carlos Hyde versus Zeke. You got those fantastic uh, wide receivers like Cooper and C.D. Lamb versus Lockett and D.K. Metcalf. And the defenses are also really good. But coming from me, I am going to go with Danger Russ and my Seattle Seahawks to continue the winning ways and remain undefeated and defeat the Dallas Cowboys in a close shootout. And now the next matchup, it is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers heading two mile high to face the Denver Broncos. Now the Buccaneers are coming off their victory over the Carolina Panthers on Sunday. Tom Brady definitely rebounded after his loss to the Saints last week. And the Buccaneers are looking to continue the winning ways with a big victory on the road. 
There is idea of the Denver Broncos coming off their loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday, and they also lost their quarterback, Drew Locke, for three to five weeks, so it will be the Jeff Driscoll show in Denver, and Denver's looking to get their first victory of the season with a home victory. So coming from me in this matchup, Tom Brady and Denver. Boy, you, there's some good history there when he was with the pa uh, with the Patriots. But coming from me, I am going to go with Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to continue the winning ways and defeat the winless Denver Broncos. And now the Sunday night matchup. It is a huge NFC showdown between the undefeated Green Bay Packers heading to the Superdome to face the New Orleans Saints. Now the Packers are coming off a big victory over the Detroit Lions on Sunday. Aaron Rodgers had another monster game. And the Packers are looking to continue the winning ways and remain undefeated. There is idea of the New Orleans Saints coming off their loss tonight on Monday Night Football to the Las Vegas Raiders. And the Saints are looking to rebound and bounce back at home on Sunday night. So coming from me in this huge NFC showdown on Sunday Night Football... Ooh, man, Drew Brees versus Aaron Rodgers. This one's going to be good. Alvin Kamara versus Aaron Jones. Devontae Adams versus Michael Thomas, who didn't play uh, tonight for the Saints. But this one's going to be good. But coming from me, I am going to go with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints to rebound and bounce back at home and defeat the undefeated Green Bay Packers on Sunday night football in an offensive showdown. And now the Monday night matchup, I mean, this one's going to be a huge Monday night showdown in the AFC between the reigning Super Bowl champions, the undefeated Kansas City Chiefs, heading to Baltimore to face the undefeated Baltimore Ravens. Now, the Chiefs are coming off their squeaky victory over the Los Angeles Chargers in overtime on Sunday. The Chiefs are coming in, looking to continue their winning ways and looking to remain undefeated and get a big victory on the road on Monday night. There is idea of the undefeated Ravens coming off their victory over the Houston Texans. Lamar Axon Jackson had another big game. Their defense stepped up, and the Ravens are looking to get a big victory at home over the reigning Super Bowl champs on Monday night. So coming from me in this massive AFC showdown on Monday night football, Football. You talk about a you talk about a slobber knocker. Patrick Mahomes versus Lamar Action Jackson. This one's gonna be really good. And I can see this being a very close shootout, but coming from me, I may get this one wrong, but I am gonna go with the reigning Super Bowl champs, Patrick Mahomes' Chiefs, to continue the winning ways and remain undefeated and defeat the Baltimore Ravens on Monday night football in an offensive slobber knocker. And those are my week three NFL predictions. I want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Comment below, who do you see winning in week three of the NFL season? Do you see any upsets happening? And let me know who you guys got. And as always, represent your NFL teams in the comment section. Even if they're having a rough season like the Jets or the Eagles or the Lions, still represent them. Let's have a conversation about them. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment, like it, and of course, reply right back to you because comments are absolutely always welcome on this channel. Now, I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching my week three NFL predictions. Now, before you guys go, as always, you guys can never forget to do this. That like button, comment, share with your friends. Of course, super kick that like button like only you guys can. Of course, guys can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button become part of this bigger and dangerous. Dangerous Alliance, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that super hit that super kick, super kick that like button if you're a fan of professional wrestling and football or in sports, and become part of this bigger and dangerous, dangerous alliance. And I will see you guys hopefully next week for my official 2020 Major League Baseball postseason wildcard series predictions and my week four NFL predictions. Later days, guys. Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe and peace.